Well, the ruling People's Democratic Alliance government in Nagaland, led by the NDPP, has taken a strong exception of Governor R. N. Ravi's Independence Day speech, which it claimed to have been not well received by the people of the state. The ruling PDA, comprising of the NDPP as well as the BJP, said that it has taken note of the people's concerns on the contents of Ravi's speech, wherein quote-unquote negative statements were made on Nagaland. It said that although Nagaland may not be the best performing state, every effort is being made to take the state forward on all development fronts. The PDA stated that it is compelled to voice the feelings of the people. Governor Arun Ravi, who is also the Naga Peace Interlocutor, in his Independence Day speech had said that though Nagaland is endowed with one of the finest human and natural resources, it unfortunately also has the dubious distinction of being the worst performing state in the country, including the Northeast region, on almost all the significant indicators of human development today. He said that when the security forces and the Naga armed groups agreed to suspend their operations against each other, thus paving the way for a political settlement, the legitimate expectation of the people of Nagaland was that dividends of freedom, that is, freedom from fear of guns, better health, better education, better infrastructure, better livelihood opportunities, an atmosphere to dream and an ecosystem to pursue those dreams. He said that there is mass-scale mayhem and miscarriage of dreams and expectations of the people of Nagaland. The NSCNIM is presently holding peace parleys with the government of India. Talks are caught in a stalemate for the NSCNIM and they have sought the replacement of RN Ravi as the peace interlocutor. Well, the four-point resolution signed by the state BJP president Tamjen Imna Along and NDPP president also welcomed the decision of Prime Minister Narendra Modi and Home Minister Amit Shah as well as the entire government of India for taking the initiative to resume the Indo-Naga political dialogue. The ruling alliance reiterated its support to the peace process in its role as an active facilitator in order to create an atmosphere that is conducive to the realization and a successful landing of the political solution. The PDA further appealed to the main opposition party in Nagaland, the Naga People's Front, to reconsider its decision of withdrawing their membership from the Joint Legislators Forum on the Naga political issue. The NPF had withdrawn their support from the JLF, citing trust deficit. Right, and to give us more details regarding this big development, I'm being joined now over the phone by my colleague Sarah Konyak from Kohima. Sarah, this seems to be what can be called as a yet the start of yet another controversy, if I may say so myself, with the People's Democratic Alliance now alleging that the independent speech that was made by Governor Arun Ravi has not really been well received by the people of Nagaland and he also seems to have made some negative statements about Nagaland. So what more can you tell us at this point in time, Sarah? Yes, Ronald, the People's Democratic Alliance had a, held a meeting yesterday where they have uh, adopted a four-point resolution and the uh, the PDA has taken a lot of people's concerns uh, with regard to the contents of the uh, speech of the uh, of the governor, uh, which was given on the 16th of uh, August, where he has stated that Nagal the state of Nagaland is uh, uh, in the in, in the part, in the recent time has become one of the worst performing states. Uh, the PDA uh, taking up this uh, resolution is the uh, uh, in it uh, picking up this resolution, uh, adopting this resolution from its meeting uh, speaks a lot of volumes that they are actually very serious about uh, what is going about and the speech which the governor has given. However, the PDF also stated that the state is, uh, although it may, be, may not be the best performing state, but uh, the uh, state of Nagaland is making every effort uh, that uh, uh, to take the state forward on all developmental fronts and. Uh, 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 and as uh, and they have also stated that as representatives, as PDAs, the representatives of the people, uh, the PD, the PDA is compelled to voice the feelings of the of its citizens. So uh, although we 
no organization has come up forward with any kind of statement with regard to the speech of the governor. Uh, there has been a lot of debate on the social media uh, that uh, they, that the that the governor has uh, gone uh, forward in a little bit too far in uh, in it in the speech which was given by him. Right, right, absolutely. Well, uh, Sarah, as you very rightly mentioned, you know, the chorus against R.N. Ravi as the peace interlocutor is now only getting stronger. Well, uh, recently it was the NSC and IM who had sought a direct replacement for R.N. Ravi as the interlocutor. And now even the NDPP has come out and said that they have uh, disapproved of uh, the independence speech that was made by R.N. Ravi. So uh, what more can you tell us uh, regarding that, uh, uh, Sarah, at this point in time as we know that the chorus against R.N. Ravi as the interlocutor is only getting louder. Well, with regard to the dual role which is played by the governor R.N. Ravi uh, as the interlocutor as well, there has been no such particular statement from the People's Democratic Alliance on uh, on this issue. Uh, however, with the adoption, with the resolution that they have adopted, uh, it is uh, it, it does signify that they are also not very pleased with the comments which the governor has made on the independent speech. And uh, there has been a lot of, uh, there's been a few sections of people who have voiced out uh, on the replacement of the interlocutor, uh, Arun Ravi, uh, either to take the role of an interlocutor of the governor as it is hampering the peace process. And we have seen in the past few days, past few weeks, that uh, the developments that have taken place that, um, uh, that Aaron Ravi has been accused uh, on many fronts as the governor and as well as the interlocutor. Uh, as the governor, with regard to the letters and also the directives which he had ordered to the state government and the uh, chief minister, and as the interlocutor, they, the NSA and IM and few sections of the Naga Civil Society have accused him of, uh, of playing the uh, divide and rule policy and also uh, taking the 70-year-old uh, Naga issue back to its um, uh, back to its uh, original uh, place where it all started from. So there has been a lot of voices from the TSOs and also uh, and also from the uh, government now. So we will have to wait and see uh, what development unfolds in the coming days. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, uh, Sarah, as we also know that uh, the PDF has now made the made an appeal to, to the Naga People's Front to reconsider its decision of a withdrawing membership from the Joint Legislators Forum. So could you tell us a little bit more on that? We obviously know that the NPF had withdrawn its support, its membership from the GLF, citing that there is a deficit in trust. So could you tell us a little bit more on that, Sarah? Yes, Ronald, exactly. The Naga People's Front, the opposition party, the legislative party, had held a meeting just few days back at the Mapu where they have, uh, where they have decided to pull out from the uh, Joint Legislative Forum, which was constituted, reconstituted on September 18, 2018. Uh, and uh, the NPF legislature had stated that there is a huge trust deficit uh, uh, in the in the forum, as well as there has been no progress made in this two and a half years uh, after the constitution was formed after the uh, after the reconstitution of the JLF. Uh, and with regard to this, the NP, uh, the PDA government the PDA government have appealed to the legislature to reconsider its decision and also to uh, set aside all uh, party lines so that the JLF will continue to play its role as an active facilitator. And adding to this, Ronald, the speaker, Mr. Sharing. Longcomer had also written a letter to the joint to the to the leader of opposition, Mr. T. R. Zilian, to reconsider his decisions and uh, to work together for the in, for the common interest for the common call uh, of the Naga peace solution. Right. Thank you very much, Sarah Koniak, for joining me at this point in time and giving us all those latest details.